Hey, what's going on guys? This is KNasty390 here. I'm back with the Madden 18 Ultimate Team video. We're doing three flashback packs today. Now, last Friday they came up with four new flashbacks. There was a Derek Johnson, Adrian Peterson. Those two I wouldn't really need on my team. I might give AP a try. But then there's a Brandon Cooks with 91 speed. That looks amazing. I really want to get him. And also a Geno Atkins. Geno Atkins cards in the past have always been great for me. So I really want to get those last two. If I get either of them, I'm keeping. Anything else, I'm probably going to sell. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it took, cost me about 300 k to do these. I had some of the cards saved up. So, I mean, if I get like an Eric Berry, I'm going to sell them because I have Ronnie Harrison anyway. I get coins and then I actually make coins off this. Um, now, if I get like three Cameron Wakes, <laughs> I'm going to take a huge L again. Uh, but I figured let's give it a try. Now, if you guys do want more flashback pack opens, do me a solid and drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you want more daily Madden content like this. Really want to get that Brandon Cooks. Really want to get that Geno Atkins. Also, I was thinking about this. This flashback like program, if you get our first one, is a Cam Newton. I'm going to sell you. I've pulled him already in the past. I just don't like mobile quarterbacks. Because I just I'm, I'm stupid with him. I it's me it's a me problem. I'm stupid with him. I'll make stupid throws, and he doesn't have good throwing accuracy. So I'm gonna sell him. But this flashback program has so many like Patriot or ex Patriot cards. Um, as Martellus Bennett has Brandon Cooks. Uh, and I'm forgetting a couple of names. There's like four flashbacks. I think a three or four flashbacks. Edelman obviously. And there's another one that has like it's a former Patriot as well. So if I wanted to like an all Patriot squad eventually, flashback program is where to find the cards. Pack number two, Adrian Peterson. That's a new one. Now I might give him a try. That's actually I think that's a good pull. I don't know what his value is. Um, now he actually has good carrying this year. I love this Sean McCoy. Love this Sean McCoy is my favorite card on offense I've used this year. I don't have used like Ezekiel Elliott, and I didn't love that card, but I love this McCoy. Now this AP has better speed and better trucking. However, and better acceleration, but he has worse agility, barely, worse carrying, but 83 is not bad. Worse ball carrying, I don't think that matters. Elusiveness, that's a big thing for Shady Juke. That's not bad for that Peterson. I might give him a try. We'll see. What's his catching? I always thought about running backs. 70 catching, it's higher than I thought, to be perfectly honest. I, I'm in a dilemma. I really want to hear in, your com in the comments down below, guys. Help me out. Should we keep this AP or should we sell him? I kind of want to give him a try, but I don't know. Last year, I didn't love his cards because he fumbled so much, but that's always an AP problem. Anyway, let's get to number three. Can we get one of the two new ones I wanted? Come on. We get a Derek Johnson. We got two of the new ones, not the ones I wanted. Now, this card is actually really good, except for one stat. You can probably see what it is. 79 speed. Uh, 88 tackle. I mean, compared to what I have, if it will load, I have Navarro Bowman and Deion Buchanan. Now, I basically would sell him out for Navarro Bowman. Now, he is better. He's clearly better than Bowman. However, I can't sell my Bowman, NAT. You guys know what that is by now. He's better, but I don't know. Like, Is he worth that much more when I can't sell this Bowman? And DM Buchanan's another one, and I use our DM Buchanan a lot. Or if not, he's just really good. I don't know. So I'll probably sell him. But that wasn't bad. Let's just take a look at the value. If I decide to sell everything, did we actually make coins? I think we actually did. I... Because I think Peterson's 200, something like that. Like I said, it cost about, I was just over 2 million when I started. Now, I did have a couple of the 84s and a couple of the 83 cards already. Um, let's see, Derek Johnson, I think, is cheap. I think he's like 60 to 70k. Oh, no, he's a little more. He's 80k. That's better than I thought. Um, let's see what this uh, AP is looking like. If he's like 200k, that's really good. And he is. 230. So between those two, we basically broke even. Cam Newton's just a bonus, really. And Cam Newton's still, I think, 100k. Right? Oh, he's over 100k, I think. 120. That wasn't a bad pack opening. I didn't get a player I wanted, but worst case, we got coins. I'll give AP a try. I'll see if I like him. I want to hear guys in the comments. Should we keep him or not? But he looks, like I said, he looks good. I just don't know if he'll play good. If, if that makes any sense. You guys played Madden before. You know it does make sense. Just some guards don't play as well as you think they would. Some play better than they should. But that's it for the video, guys. Hope you did enjoy the flashback packs. They were actually good this time. I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy. Peace.